Mommy? Wow. Piece of wood. Wow. Mommy? Piece of wood. <laughs> what are you doing, Mommy? Leia? <laughs> I don't know. She's like, can't decide what looks better. Oh Mommy or a piece of wood? Hmm. Wow. What's up, everybody? Today, I got Leia with me. I'm gonna be at home, and there's so much stuff to do that I haven't gotten done. We've been living here for about two months, and uh, we still have a lot of stuff to do. We still have to set up the baby's room. We finally got the crib up that we didn't have to set up because someone helped us. But look at this mess. We have our play mat, and we have a bunch of my clothes right here on the floor, because this used to be my dresser. It doesn't fit in our room. I gotta figure out what to do with all this stuff so she could have her own room. Are you ready to sleep in your own bed oh i guess not so today what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clean up this entire mess right here so she can have her crib space and we could eventually get her in there that's what we got going on right now and i can't do work unless i have her strapped on me that's really the only way is the struggles of being a new parent or you know what we could probably put her into the crib <gasps> Ooh. yeah let's try to get her used to it okay let's do that she's getting fussy i know and her hair is stinky yeah it's because she has cradle cat you just got a bath yesterday. I know. It's normal. I looked it up. Let's uh, unhook you, baby. Have you laid in your crib yet? I haven't put she you in the has. crib. She has. I put her there. I have not seen her in the crib yet. Let's see, baby. Oh. Oh. All right. How do you like it? Ooh. Oh. Oh. You have your own crib. It's so nice. It's like a king size bed for you. Look at that. You have so much room. So that means I get to take off this bulletproof vest and get some work done. Okay. I wonder if we can just put hooks here and hook like this bulletproof vest. Diaper bag, diaper bag, uh, diaper bag. Nah, that could just go in the closet. Do you see what's in the closet? We'll figure it out. I'll, I'll show you what's in the closet. Look at all this crap that's right here that doesn't even fit in the closet. Yeah, what's in the closet? Crap. A bunch of crap. I can't even open the door. It's too much crap. Mommy will take care of the closet. All right, so this part of the crib kind of sucks because it's chipped right here. We got it shipped and it was damaged. I think every single thing that I always get shipped is always damaged. Instead of returning these heavy pieces and waiting for it, I'm just going to patch it. That's just an easy fix. I don't want to wait no more. So we'll go ahead and just patch it up. Always good for now. I'm done. Yay. Yay. See? Nothing. What about the rest of the room? Oh man. Hey, I finished everything that I needed to do. Now all this crap is both of us because yeah. this is all baby stuff. We just gotta figure out where to put everything and I yeah, think it should where? be okay. Gotta figure out the closet and then add some decorations that we use for the baby shower that I actually want to put up on her walls because it has her name on it. So I think it'll be really cute. We have a bunch of like stuffed animals that we can put everywhere. And I don't want to use these diaper kicks either. I want to keep it in her room. You hoarder! But they're so cute! Don't be a hoarder, baby. Just throw away stuff. That's all your stuff right mm -hmm. there. You have too much stuff. Stuff. Yep, she's taking over our house. All right, Leia. So now you're doing tummy time, huh? While mommy and daddy are trying to work on your nursery. You like all the patterns? She looks like she's already trying to crawl. Why are you crying? You can do it. Do it. You can do it, Leia. Yeah, go. Go. You can do it. Yeah. <laughs> how far does she go? Like this much. Wow. Yeah, and then look at her feet. Look at how hard she's trying to kick right now. To move. Look at those little legs. Baby, you're not there yet, but don't worry. Whoa. Oh, man, she's so determined. I know. Good job. You just want to go around a mile right now, don't you? That was good. You did so good. So lately, she's been very, very interactive. And she's been noticing so many things. Like when we walk around, she'll look at one thing and look at another thing. And I've noticed she's been looking a lot on our mouth. Baby, do you understand? Hi. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? <laughs> so I didn't realize how much stuff that we had in her room. Because since we moved, I haven't really had time to look through any of the boxes there's so much stuff in here i feel like this is gonna take more than a day for us to do this is her closet and there's all this stuff so i'm trying to clean it out right now and then once we clear all of this out it comes to the decorations so i think that might be saved either for another day or later on but i feel like it's gonna take a lot of time while we're doing that i guess we can see what aunt is up to 
to because he decided to move on to the office because it was so messy. What's up? What is going on yeah. over here? I am trying to prepare what? us and make sure that no one messes with my girls. <laughs> really? You can never be too sure. That's true. Okay. Look, if someone's gonna come through our door and I pick up the shotgun right now, all you gotta do is pick up this belt and I'm ready to rock and roll. Okay, okay. So I, I guess we're pretty safe then. Of Nothing course. for us to worry about. I didn't have the time to put this stuff away before. It was just in my bag, so I took them out and I'm gonna put it inside. Keep them very, very nice and locked up. Maybe yeah. these guys can just keep by our beds. Yeah, I mean, as long as they're safe and they're not within Leia's reach, even though she can't reach for it yet, but we'll just keep it away from her enough to keep us safe because we know how to handle guns in the safest way possible where no one would be at risk. I got the good stuff. I think I have one of every category. I got my assault rifle that I just put away in there. I got a shotgun for all defense and I have a lightweight MP5. And I got this guy. Whenever I want to go hunting or if there's a zombie apocalypse, I can go on the roof. And this is the M24 sniper rifle that they used in American Sniper. What's your favorite out of all these? If I could choose from the three, one. I would say I like the 1911 because I like how the grip is and it's pretty sturdy. And I feel like the aim and the shot and everything Everything is good. What's your favorite out of everything? The 1911, the AR-15, and the sniper rifle. And of course, this right here. Is that a baby carrier? So, I got a real life bulletproof vest. They can't stab me through it. They can't shoot me through it. And I had this because before JK and Barbell, I had a liquor store. At the liquor store, you know, I started picking up all these guns. During Halloween nights, I would wear this. Just because you never know what happens at a liquor store at midnight. Now I have it off on my ladies for the house. Yep. No one's gonna mess with us. If you do, good luck. All right, so we're almost done with everything. It's getting pretty empty right now. While I was cleaning stuff, I came across this plate that Aunt's mom actually gave to us. She brought this over when we were exchanging Christmas presents. And I don't know if Aunt saw this yet, but- What is it? It is a plate that your mom brought over. Have you seen this? Do you remember Happy that? Happy Mother's Day, 1989. Love, Anthony. I don't even remember making this. At least I cluttered inside the lines. And your hands grew a little bit. What? I'm oh, just kidding. <laughs> look at that. It's like double. Wow. You see it? Yeah. You were so young when you did that too. I was, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say you're gonna say it, but if I spelled this at that age and that's my handwriting, that's really right? good. Right, and you knew how to spell your own name and everything too. Well, maybe I just copied this off something. Knowing me, are you gonna eat out of it? No, I think I'm good. I mean, it's pretty old, and who knows what you did to it when you were a kid? So, I wouldn't even let Ryu eat off of it. What? <laughs> you know what I want to do? I want to create a PlayStation here for her. I want to put a play mat here. I want to have a jumper here. I want to be able to have the rocking chair in here. Pretty much this is her room, so whenever we want to keep her company or entertain, we just come in here. And Pretty much. <laughs> oh, she's so happy. Oh. oh! What just happened? She just exploded right now. Oh my goodness. Explosion or a fart? It sounded like an explosion. Yeah, is that funny? She's always laughing every time she poops. <laughs> yeah. This is funny because right now she's trying to read your Ooh. lips. And that's what she's been so curious with in the last couple of days. She's trying to like copy what I'm doing. Is she? Ah. While farting. Oh, Whoa, yeah. What was that? Was she trying right She there? burped. <laughs> Ooh. E. Yeah? <laughs> you just want to stand, huh? Let's try and balance her. So I want to balance her on her own without me holding her up from her body. You got it? Good job! Wow, whoa. Does she love standing? Miss Wobbly Wobbles? Whoa, are you dancing whoa. Are Getting you dancing? Jiggy with it. Na, 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 na. Let's dance for mommy. And hit it! Dun, 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 dun. Why is there a poop stain on her back? All right, this is day two of getting the nursery set up and it's looking pretty good. We actually just got back from Ikea and I just got this diaper changing station. It's so simple yet they make it so difficult and I don't understand why the instructions have to be so hard. So I only got one thing done, which is the top part right here. That's all I did so far and that already <laughs> took a while because I didn't know which side 
the board goes. You know how when you get stuff at Ikea, and it's like, does it go this way, or does it go this way? Why don't they have the color in the picture, and you don't get to see it until you're done? Pretty sure I did the right way. But I only got one thing done, and baby is getting fussy. Uh -oh. So it's time to strap her in. Come on, baby. Today is actually one of the first days we let her fingers loose. Yeah. Because she's been scratching like crazy. I guess she hasn't really scratched lately, huh? Mm, she's been good. That's good. That's why I've been letting her hands be free so she can explore and start filling everything because that's where she's at right now. All right, baby. Let me get you in this. How does she look? Good. Can I continue working? Yeah. All right. Step number one. Oh, oh. Uh, Having a baby and trying to get baby stuff done. What are you looking for? <laughs> what, huh? what are you doing? Yeah, that's mommy right there. Yeah? Yeah, okay, what's oh on that gosh, side? Oh my god, she keeps turning her head so it's fast. It's a piece of wood. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, wow. there's mommy, piece of wood. Mommy, wow. piece of wood. Wow. Mommy, piece of wood. <laughs> what are you doing, mommy? Leah? <laughs> I don't know, she's like, can't decide what looks better. Oh my mommy god. or a piece of wood? Hmm. Wow. How do all of you single parents do this? Or dads when your moms aren't around? Is there some kind of secret to this? Or we just do it when she's sleeping? Probably so, that. Everyone always says sleep when the baby sleeps, but we can't because we have so much stuff to do. If we're not building stuff for the house, we're doing work for our channel or for JK or for Barbell. I just don't have time to sleep when she sleeps. Yeah, I don't think so, we've napped ever since. I've she's never before. napped. Mm -mm. And I'm so tired every day. Yeah. But there's nothing we can do but just grind it out until everything's done. All right, baby. It's time to go with mommy. Sorry, I can't do this. Yay, she's ready for you. Okay. Hi, baby. You ready to get carried? Okay. All right, your time. All right. It looks like a skirt. I know, it's really long. I, I've tried a lot of wraps and carriers, and I feel yeah. like this is the easiest one. Is it comfortable? It's pretty comfortable, and it supports her neck pretty good, too, because it's padded right here, so I don't have to worry too much. Oh, that look easy. Yeah, right? This long part, I pretty much just have to wrap it in the back and then tie it under to support her weight. So I got to put it under her legs, so it ties under her butt. That looks pretty easy. Yeah, simple, right? But there's so many steps. Mine is just quick, quack, quack, done. Yeah. No, I think it's still pretty easy. It wasn't bad at all. So there That's we go. That's it. Oh, easy. That's all. So I am more than halfway done with this guy right here. And it looking pretty good with this changing table. And I don't even know where mommy went. I don't know. Let's go find her. She might have gone to do something. Mommy, where are you? I found you. What are you doing? What happened? How come you, you're not cleaning? You know what time it is. Baby feeding time. Oh man. Yeah. That's how hard it is because we can't get anything done. Mm -mm. Nothing. I don't know how it's gonna work when you go back to your job and I gotta take care of her at JK office. If I can't get stuff done now, how am I gonna get stuff done at work? Well, hopefully, you know, around that time she gets better because she's older and then maybe she'll sleep more. I don't know, we'll see because everyone says babies get better after like three months. Well, I know that we still have some samples of infant formula that we haven't used yet. Mm -hmm, we have a lot. And I'm pretty sure in the next month or two, you're not gonna have much milk left. We'll see. Because it's kind of slowing down already. So hopefully when I go back to work with her, I can just give her the infant formula and with that heavy protein, she's just gonna knock out. I think she just needs to eat more. More she definitely needs to eat more. The first time we took her to the doctor, she's at the 9 percentile of small babies. 91% of babies are bigger than her. And then we came back to give her shots at this two months, she dropped down to the 5%, which is even smaller. So we've been giving her extra bottles. So we breastfeed her and I give her bottles in the middle of the night. Uh, now we've been giving her extra bottles to make sure she gets enough nutrients. I don't know if she's still growing because she's only drinking one ounce here, go to sleep. One ounce there, go to sleep before she's drinking three ounces three ounces three ounces so it's kind of hard right now we're just kind of constantly shoving it in her mouth and just making her eat she just hard. gets really lazy i mean she's doing it to me too who me. does she get the laziness from i have no idea ryu probably oh freaking yeah. ryu yep i think we're finally done we got the diaper changing table ready so i think we're good with that look at that nice and clean Whoa. But we haven't had time to decorate or put anything on the walls yet. This took so much time already, so I feel yeah. like decorating is gonna be like a whole another day for us. But at least we got this all done for you, baby. And it looks pretty good. We got the crib, we got the changing station, and we have the change station because when we do it on the couch, we go so low to pick her up like this, changing her diaper. And then when we lift her up, it's like, ah! And you can feel that pain in your back. So if we're gonna have another child in another year or two, that'll be about four years of diaper changing. So I think this was a very good investment. This guy looks like we have to inflate it. 
I wouldn't be surprised if you pass out. Pretty close. Okay. So that's it right there. Cool. Yay! No more freaking cracking our backs with this. Look at this. Yeah. I'm so excited to use it. All right, Daddy. Good job today on building everything. Thank you. It looks awesome. One of the things that I found out that is the most useful, everybody always puts up their crib before the baby is born. They rush, they panic, and they set up the nursery. And one thing that we found out is that when the baby sleeps with us every night, we didn't need to set this up. We didn't have to rush. So it's a really good thing. We love sleeping with her. I know people say it's not safe. We don't roll over on top of her. We're pretty careful. And now she's actually in the bassinet next to our bed. So either way, she's in our room for the first couple months. And that's what the doctors recommend. Don't ever rush to do this. Take your time because you want to be here for a while so once the baby gets too big for the bassinet that's when she's gonna move in here but as for now she's just gonna stay in our room as recommended by the doctor and we're just gonna do that because she's still small and I love it because we only have so little time to spend with her in our bed and enjoy every little moment like this so we're cherishing everything that we can so next time don't forget to like share subscribe and I hope you guys are excited for our skits that are coming up very 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 soon then let us know if you want us to post three times a week because we're thinking about it. We're thinking about you. Bye.